Hello everybody, Gaming Vexation here, and welcome back to the Earth Cavern Cave thing uh, in Final Fantasy 1. Last episode we got wrecked by some Gigases. Gigai? I don't know, man. In this episode we're going to explore this area and hopefully find something other than... Oh my god. Bro, come on. We're off to a fantastic start here. Thundara, let me out. Let me out. Just, just drop some thunder on him. Hold up a second. I will be back momentarily. Enjoy the battle. Apologize for that. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, glad we won that battle and got poisoned three times over. Thank goodness I picked up antidotes, though. Anyway, let's go down here, I think. Um, help. Go all the way left here. Okay. Booby trap. Uh, I don't know what to use on Earth. I'm assuming that Thunder... I used Fire. I meant to just use Fire. That's a waste of mana. Whoops. Okay, that did more damage than I thought it was going to do, honestly. A potion. 880 gil. Fantastic. I'm so glad we came down here for all that. Please note the sarcasm. I'm also sorry if this winds up being a little bit shorter than like 10, 15 minutes. I don't know how long I was gone for to cut out, so apologies in advance. I try to avoid that for that specific situation because I know I have to make up the time somewhere else in the video, and I'm not very good at that kind of thing. But sometimes life happens, so we gotta attend to that first. Anyway, let's go down the right side here. <clears throat> the Earth Cavern, Earth Cave, is a little bit loaded with enemies, huh? See, when they're like this, I don't mind. He doesn't do that much damage, he dies effectively immediately, like... I mean, the encounters are a bit much, but I'm not even going to worry about using the spell here. I'm sure we're not going to kill both of them, but he does some little damage doesn't really matter. I can't wait until we move on to a future Final Fantasy, honestly. I'm not going to lie. While I'm not minding playing this, don't get me wrong, um, Final Fantasy in general is not really my favorite series, and... To be honest with you, this is not my favorite of the Final Fantasies I've played. This is probably close to the bottom tier. So I'm looking forward to the next one, basically. I'm already planning ahead, because I think... I think... Spoiler alert, this is just me rambling at this point, but I do think we get a crystal from this area. And then we only have three left. I know we're not quote-unquote close to the end, but I also know that we are not far from the end. That first jump, I believe, is the longest. So, we're doing totally fine, basically. That's all it comes down to. Pacing is alright. And I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited to hit up to 12, honestly. 12 is my favorite Final Fantasy, and I'm looking forward to running around in that. We do in the Zodiac version, unfortunately. I much prefer the PS2 version, but the Zodiac Age ain't too bad, I, I suppose. Or the Zodiac... Is it Zodiac Age? I don't remember what they call it. I'm just gonna try to flee here. I really don't want to use Thundara or Fyra. It's gonna make me a <sighs> But I much prefer the original over the Steam version, personally. Thank God. 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure where to go. Alright, well, if it's preemptive strike, we're just gonna flee then. Because that should be a guaranteed flee, right? I don't know where we're going. Um. I just really don't want to get poisoned, please. That's all I'm trying to avoid when I flee from the Cobra specifically, because that one spell will... I'm just gonna fight these guys real quick. I don't really want to, because I don't want to blow my mana, but... Fleeing is hard for this one, it seems. So... What do you do? Um... I don't remember where we went. We'll fight the troll. It's a single enemy. Ouch. Alright, well I guess we'll use Cure. Circle is not a confirm button in this game. Come on. Alright. I don't know why I keep thinking Circle is Confirm in this game. I don't even know what game I play where I use Circle to Confirm, honestly. But like I said, I'm trying to save my mana because while I don't expect it to take 10 turns for a boss, I do expect it to take at least 3 spells. But I could be wrong about that, so... Wait and see, I suppose. Getting back out of here is gonna suck. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to flee if I try to. We'll fight him. I'd rather not, but we'll fight him. Goodness, the white mage actually took one out. Acceptable. I'm about to get ambushed. Coral sword. Can I upgrade with that? No. Yes. A tent. Thank you. 330 gil. All right. See, that's what's nice about exploring, is sometimes you find some neat stuff, but other times you just waste so much time, and we got ambushed. <laughs> like I said, I really don't want to be overleveled for the game, but at the same time, I don't know what overleveled is for this game, unfortunately, so... I'm gonna pick and choose my fights. Like, we're not really taking a whole lot of damage here, honestly. I mean, our mages are, but that's typical no matter what level you are anyway, they take an ungodly amount of damage. Um... But my goal is to make sure we're kind of like an even level. I don't know, but I don't know what an even level is. I, I just, it's a weird position to be in is all. How many times are we getting poisoned? We got poisoned zero times? Alright. I'm just gonna burn him. Oh, the Coral Sword looks sick! Honestly, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Alright, I don't remember where the boss is on this floor. And I think we're probably... I think we have enough cushion for that cut, so... I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here, because I'm assuming the next floor is gonna be the boss floor. And I don't wanna drag that out too long and I don't want it to be too short so we're going to shoot for a balanced episode anyway thank you guys so much for watching it was a pleasure as always and until next time I'll see you all later till then peace out